the one thing you're looking for most out of the first round of the Redskins, obviously, non-Redskins storylines for the draft? I mean, I always gravitate towards quarterbacks. I think it's the easiest thing to do. And the, you know, the big name quarterback is the guy we pay attention to a lot. And it's the guy that we remember a lot. You remember like, what happened with Jimmy Clausen. You remember what happened with, um, it was the guy who went to the Browns. Uh, uh, Brady Quinn. Brady Quinn. You remember the Brady uh, Quinn thing. You remember, I thought you were going to go Heath Schuler. Almost. You remember like Blaine Gabbert. Like, you remember these guys, even if they turn out to be sort of mediocre or terrible NFL quarterbacks, you remember their story on draft day. And so to me, it's Johnny Manziel. To me, he's been the biggest story for weeks, months. You know, he's a charismatic guy. There's such disagreement about what his NFL potential is, about where he would go, about whether he deserves to be a first-round pick or a top-ten pick. And he just seems like the guy, you know, they'll sit up there and they'll talk about him for three hours if they need to, and I'll watch that for three hours because, <laughs> the, to me, those are the stories that you remember on draft day. Right now, who you look, what, do you, what interests you, uh, Brandon? I mean, I, I definitely agree he's, he's probably the most talked-about guy, but Jadavion Clowney... It seems like there's is more of a consensus that he's going to be the, the top pick, but everybody still has questions about his motor. You know, can he hang at the next level? I think he's he's an immense talent, and I mean, you've got to, even though they've already got J.J. Watt, the Houston Texans. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, those two on the on the ends that can be really, really big impact. And I mean, he's he's strong, he's fast, he can blow up people as as we've seen. I mean, I, I feel like. He's the guy to go with, and, and he's going to – I mean, any adjustment period with the NFL, there's going to be some time, but he's going to be a, a good player. Clowney seems to be the prohibitive favorite to be the top pick. What are you looking at, Keith? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it should be Clowney. Mm-hmm. And I think after that, that's when the draft gets exciting because, um, like, like these guys said, you know, anybody – any of these players could go number two or top ten or in the 20s. You know, it would almost be interesting to be sitting in that, in that Redskin seat picking second on the second day and, and having the board reset for you because there's, there's, you know, you read mock drafts and stuff, there's maybe 50 guys who think they have a first round grade, but only 32 of them are going to get picked mm-hmm. on Thursday. And so then there's going to be a bunch of guys who are probably pretty good football players on the top of the board when the draft starts up again on Friday night. I, I just think the, the, the intrigue of the first round will be interesting because after Clowney, whether it's the Texans who take him or if the Texans deal out of that spot, uh, then I think the Rams have incentive to maybe to, to trade back and, and gain more picks again right. uh, because they don't need a pass rusher. They have Chris Long and Robert Quinn. Um, the Falcons have been rumored to, to be after Clowney. I think even from the very first pick, the, the draft could go any number of ways. And I think, you know, if you, th- if you think you've read a mock draft that knows what's going to happen uh, <laughs> or that predicts what's going to happen, uh, it'll, it could be blown up in the first 10 minutes of, of watching it. In the last 15 seconds we have, do we think Manziel will be the first quarterback chosen? I'm yes or no? No. I say yes. Yes. Yeah, I'll say yes. It's but a I, quick tiebreaker. It could go either way. Oh, sorry. Yes. We we heard from our buddy Kyle Shanahan, who said <sighs> it was very high on him, uh, uh, reportedly uh, just recently. And He's the Browns, I think, are in the fourth sh- fourth slot. So interesting. We'll yeah. see. It'll be fun to watch Johnny football. And you know, regardless. you're going to hear. You know, whatever happens, you're going to hear Kirk Cousins' name a lot during draft coverage too. That's, Whether anything happens with him or point. not, he. Uh, do you agree with that? I think his name will be mentioned a lot. Yeah, unless the Browns at number four, unless they take Manziel, then I think, yeah, that, that's the end of that. But that's probably the true. fact that Kyle Shanahan is the offensive coordinator mm-hmm. for the Browns makes this a lot more interesting to us. I mean, in fact, in the first round. Yeah, yeah, yeah so that's absolutely. what we'll be looking at.